Welcome to the Oyoko Dojo Karate Channel. In this video, we are going to look at the angled sidestep and three applications for countering and its use for combinations. George is going to attack me with a cross and I'm going to sidestep it. The problem with this, I avoided his punch, but I cannot punch him either because I'm parallel to him. What would be ideal is to turn a little bit. So that's what we are going to do next. George is going to attack me with a cross and I'm going to take an angled sidestep. George is going to attack me with a jab and I'm going to, to take an angled sidestep. We are going to look at how to walk and punch at the same time. When we step with the left foot, uh, we hit a jab. When we step with the right foot, we hit a cross. When the punch lands, that's when the foot should land. Okay, let's move forward. When we move forward, we start with the front foot. So front, back, left, right. When we move backwards, we start with the rear foot. Right, left, right, left. Okay, at a more natural pace. Left, right, left, right. Backward, right, left, right, left. Okay. Next, we are going to move left. When we move left, we start with the left foot. Left, right, left, right. And when we move to the right, we start with the right foot. Right, left, right, left. At a more natural pace, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left. Now we are going to look at the angled sidestep. So from a fighting stance, first we are going to look at the regular sidestep in which the left foot steps first, followed by the right foot. In the angled sidestep too, we start uh, stepping with the left first, but we step at an angle and the right follows it into a fighting stance. And one more time. Next, we are going to add punches. In the regular side step, when we step with the left, we hit a jab, when we step with the right, we hit a cross. The angled side step works the same way. When we step with the left, we hit a jab, when we step with the right, we hit a cross. So let's do it more fluidly. And one more time. And uh, now at a natural speed. Let's look at the angled sidestep to the right. From a fighting stance, when we take a regular sidestep, we step with the right and punch, step with the left and punch. We are going to do the same thing with the angled sidestep, except we are going to take an angle. So we take a bigger step with the, uh, with the back foot and punch and then the left follows. So big step follows. Okay. Let's do it more fluidly. And now at normal speed. Let's start from the simplest counter where we are going to block the incoming cross and then uh, counter with, the, uh, with our own cross. George is going to hit a cross, which I'm going to, to block while I take my angle at sidestep. Let's do that again. And now I'm going to add the counter to it, the, which is going to be the right cross. We can perform the same counter to the right. So George is going to attack with a jab and I'm going to move to the right.
Next, I'm going to add the counter to it, which is going to be a loft. The second counter is going to be a little faster because we can get two punches. George is going to attack me with a cross which I'm going to hit down. This hand continues into the jab and I'm also hitting a cross. Hmm. Next we are going to do it to the right. George is going to attack me with a jab, which I'm blocking. This hand continues with hip rotation, hitting a cross, and then hitting a jab. Yeah. This counter is very similar to counter version 2, except this time we are not blocking at all. And to the right, Next, we are going to use the angled sidestep uh, in a combination. I'm going to enter with a 1-2, which George is going to defend, and then I'm going to continue with a 1-2 from the side. So it's 1-2, 1-2. 1-2, 1-2. We are going to do the same combination to the right. So when we are doing it to the right, it has to be one, two, jab. It has to be a jab because I have to move with the right. I step to the right with a cross. So it's going to be a one, two, one, cross, jab. Okay, so one, two, one, again. So at a more natural speed, We are going to use the second counter. You, you have to put more power into that cross. The, the jab, yeah, there won't be much power in it. But the cross there should be. So you don't block. Okay, this has no power. See, your, your hip didn't turn into the cross. Yes. I, I want to see that heel come up. from the other side. You have to move, yeah, ju just like you did it before. Boom. See how far I moved out? So the punch comes, okay. You don't count there, you just block. If you turn more, there will be more power in your jab.
So this is going to be counter two. You're going to hit this down and continue. You have to hit this down. No, no, not not like this. Just okay. Can you hit the jab? It's very small motion. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I are this. You, you have to keep your hands up when you punch it. Okay, so you don't, don't drop it down. You see, nothing is around your face. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the content useful. We also have supplemental videos uh, showing shadow boxing drills to practice the techniques from this video. Thank you for watching and please visit our channel again.